Hello everybody, Darnell here. Um, it was brought to my attention that in my last video about setting up the um, smart TV to work with your website, Dan Pro, basically that package, the $99 package. Um, I didn't show exactly how to set up the TV to work with the URLs that are created with the website, okay, under the display. So I'm going to start this from scratch and it's going to be two parts of the video. First is the hardware and then I'll go back to the, to the website. So first I'm going to turn it on. And in this case it's probably going to remember the last thing I did which was uh, hook it up to the internet. Notice it hasn't found anything because it's acting as if there's no internet. Because the last time I did this I set this up for wireless but I don't have the wireless turned on right now. So I'm going to go back to my home. I'm going to go to, and then if you bought this TV, which is a Samsung, I think it's a 4500 or something like that at Walmart, 32 inch. Uh, I'm going to go here to settings. And go down to general. And go to, uh, was it general? Oh, I went past it. I want to go to general, network, open network settings, and I want to select wire, wired. In your case, you might have to select wireless, then you need a keyboard or you have to use the mouse to put in the uh, password. I'm going to go to wired because I have it plugged in back here with an actual wired connection. I also have a keyboard I bought from Walmart which is a Logitech, it has a pad and all this stuff, it has a little USB dongle that I plugged into the USB port so I have keyboard access when I'm ready to to do what I need to do on the web. So let me go ahead and go wired. Shows it's connected. Okay, all that good stuff. And I go ahead and go back to home. And to set up the uh, Wi-Fi, I mean the uh, connection to your your computer to be a, a, a display or a billboard, we're going to go over here to where it says Internet. I'm going to move my mouse to the top here because I already have mine set up so that the browser window goes, I mean the edges go away. See how it went away? So let's just go up to the top. And the first thing we want to do is go ahead and go to settings. See this little area right here where it says internet menu? Let's hit that. Go to the settings. And what I have set up here, let me walk through these. Um, I have a uh, hide tabs and toolbars automatically. Set that to use. And now to get rid of this border after a while when it's when it's up and running. And then let's go to uh, let me see here. Let me move up. Notice how I'm using my mouse. Go over to the home page and you want to set your URL right there. Enter URL and set it to the browser URL, I mean the URL you created on the website under the display. Each one of those displays you create creates a URL. That URL is what goes here. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and get out of this now. Let's see how I can close it. Close the settings menu. And I might be able to hit home. And okay. So you'll see it's now playing what I created like a demo on my website as one of my displays out in the field. So this would represent a machine or a digital billboard on location connected to the internet away from your home. So at home you'd be on the website modifying this. Now every five minutes or after the full display set uh, of ads rolls around it's going to update. Okay that's going to probably change and while I'm working with the the uh, developer 
of the plugin for WordPress now uh, to bring in more features that we need for the uh, for a digital display in real time. Now, what you're seeing right here is this sample that I have has way too many videos, so it's loading them up, queuing them. But in reality, you normally don't get that at all. You get maybe when you first turn on it a, it a uh, buffer for a minute and then start playing. Okay, but I have 17 videos here, which is way too many right in a row like this. But you'll see it's nice, high def. And these templates I actually have on the website for sale too. So anybody can make a video like this. It's a PowerPoint, you just plug in different images, plug in different content, say export to video and you got it. Or you could export just stills uh, for still ads. Let's see what it's doing, it's padding them up. And that's what I do this for the first time. Look at that. Depending upon the speed of your internet also, I'm connected direct to a pretty high speed uh, connection. Notice there's no edges because we set the browser to hide the tabs. Okay. Now what you want to do also is when you first run this thing, the mouse for some reason stays in the middle of the screen on some of these screens. So I take that mouse and put it to the side and you just let it run. So that's about it. And um, I'll chop up the video a little bit to, to get more into detail. See you next time.